What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, I'm Barbas. So today we're gonna attempt to do something with this fender. Um, last night it stormed. You can see all the leaves and all the little junk that flew on here. Um, but either way, I'm gonna take this fender off and I am gonna attempt to get rid of these little wrinkles. If that doesn't work, I'm gonna go ahead, sand this whole thing down and repaint it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I suggest you do so because we're going to be having raffles every 500 subscribers. I went ahead and I wet sanded this and it looks like the wrinkles were actually on the clear, not on the brown. I thought that maybe the brown has shriveled up with some kind of a pain reaction, but no, I was wrong. All those wrinkles were actually on the clear coat so I was able to smooth all those out so now I'm gonna attempt to uh, use some McGuire's and see if I could uh, bring this fender back all right so you can see the little cracks still under there a little bit um, it is a lot smoother and everything I used 800 grit because that's the only paper that I have if you would do like 15 and keep stepping it up you would probably get a better result this is just gonna be a test um, if it looks like I could bring the fender back then I will go ahead and buy more sandpapers if it doesn't I'll just go ahead and hit it with some 320 and paint it this is the stuff that I'm gonna be using So I'm gonna go ahead and just do a small little section of it. And basically what I wanna do is just rub it on there. So it looks kinda like, like that right there. And then I'm gonna let it sit there for around four minutes. And then I'll come back and try to rub it off. That's all you want. So here it is. It didn't really get that much of a shine. It looks kind of like a matte color now. Like a matte brown. Compared to this, this looks like maybe like a faded brown. Um, you could definitely see the little scratches on there from the sandpaper, but I'm pretty sure I could get rid of those if I would step it up. Um, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to wet sand the whole thing down with some 320 and I'm going to respray. So I just hit the whole thing with some 320 and soapy water and I'm going to rinse this whole fender down with some clean water. I'm gonna go get some clean water, rinse it down, and we'll continue from there. So I went ahead and I put my panel out here in the shade. There's a lot of sun on the other side over there. So after I lay my third coat, I'm gonna take it over there and let it bake. So I am gonna rattle can this. So I'm going to go a really light coat just to get everything tacky. This coat really doesn't matter. All you want to do is just get it tacky. All 
All right, so I'm ready to hit it with my second coat. On this coat, I'm gonna do all the edges first and basically get everything up to color. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit the whole fender. you can see the overspray right here which doesn't matter right now because when you bomb it on your third coat that's gonna be gone remember whatever the third coat looks like that's what your fender or your part is gonna end up like So we're gonna wait 10 minutes. It's kind of hot outside. We're gonna wait 10 minutes and then I'm gonna bomb it. So this can feels like it's almost halfway. I'm gonna go ahead and bomb this thing. I'm gonna do all my edges again and then lay my final coat on top. So I went ahead and I finished it and I got it over here drying up didn't turn out bad at all it's very glossy and I got this guy painted flat black so I'm gonna let that bake on there for an hour or two and then I'm gonna throw it in the shed I ended up not putting it in the shed. I just let it bake out here. And look at this. It's got an awesome reflection on it. You can see all the trees. And put this guy in here. I think I'm gonna go and slap it on the car because I have look how the car looks so I got it installed um, I didn't really line up all the lines because I'm gonna have to take it off again so I could paint around the door the door molding but it's starting to look really nice I really like it it's starting to look different now So this is going to be the end of this video, I'll catch you guys on my next video. Um, I'm thinking of doing the front bumper pretty soon, so I'll see you guys in that video. Till then, peace out, stay safe, catch you guys later.